Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just got a couple of emails from my blog uh, where I was posting about Armadillo and it features this really cool D3O stuff that we've uh, mentioned in the past. And as you can see, if you put it there, it starts to melt. Oh, and it has a little bit of a hole in it. As you can see, if you put it there, it starts to melt. All by itself. Look at that. It's the coolest thing ever. Just leave it alone. And it's gooey. Is it harmful? No. That was the first question I got. Uh, is it toxic? No. It is uh, not toxic. It passes all sorts of European chemical tests, and the U.S. government is looking at it for its, uh, for its uh, soldiers, for the Air Force. Um, in the U.K., they're already using it. Um, for battlefield uh, soldiers, which is pretty cool. Um, that's the Ministry of uh, Defense, which are now um, using it for their prototype uh, future soldier uh, program. And you can see that on the D3O website, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, they make holes into the D3O, so it's breathable. Some of the uh, padding that you see inside the uh, armadillo jackets has little, have little squares. And really those little squares are for the impact dispersion, which is pretty cool. And it performs in high and low temperatures, between 55 Celsius and 120 degrees, 120 Celsius, sorry. Um, now, uh, a lot of people are asking, what do they use it for? Well, this is being used in everything from the Olympics to the Ministry of Defense, to the US um, uh, Air Force and the uh, UK um, Future Soldier Program. So they're all trying to use D3O. You've seen it in some iPhone and iPod protectors. I put some links online, which is really cool. And it is gooey material. Uh, it's gonna melt. But the cool stuff, the cool thing about this is the harder you hit it, as you've seen in those videos, the harder it's going to get. And once they heat it and put it to a certain degree, it does become a hard substance like this. But it's still moldable. I mean, it's still, you know, it's, it bends and it's rubbery and it maintains all the properties of rubber. Um, it's sticky, which is cool, but not sticky in a way that's going to melt onto your, to your, uh, to your hand uh, or your clothing. See, look. Doesn't stick to your clothes. It's my belly. And it bounces. Whoa. Oh, there goes my D3O. Where would that go? There we go. And it bounces. I mean, it's just like... Uh, it's just like a ball. It bounces around. And I love that about the stuff. It maintains its properties. You've seen these videos. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple of questions I got about uh, D3O. And uh, it's the base material is what's liquid. And once after you process the base material, it goes from this to this. So no, you don't get liquid inside the armadillo jackets. What you get inside the armadillo jackets is the padding. And that's uh, stronger. It spreads and absorbs the energy better than any of those hard plastics out there on the market. Uh, a hard plastic would be something like this that's on this uh, D3O display. And then there's a D3O plastic like this. And the difference between a hard plastic and a D3O rubbery uh, material is that the hard plastic just passes that kinetic energy to your bone and that's why your bone's going to break where the rubber absorbs and disperses the energy the intelligent molecules will lock together they'll get harder but they'll maintain that rubber uh, property which is going to basically just spread out um, as the intelligent molecules spread out the uh, impact so you're not going to break your bone where if you fell with some of these jackets that have a hard plastic it's going to hurt you a lot more um, you've probably seen the videos where people wrap their hands in the D3O and they punch things. Don't do it. I don't recommend that. We don't sell the D3O by itself like this. It comes inside the armadillo jackets, which is what we try to promote. Um, and it is a shock, a shock absorbing material. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. I have a lot of fun with these displays. If you buy a couple jackets right now, you're going to get the D3O and the hammer, so you can put a little display inside your shop. Uh, we have a huge selection of jackets available, um, from the camo to the hoodie, to the winter, to the street jacket, uh, the parka. Um, we have the woman's jacket, which this is great for a bike rider. If you're running on a bicycle or uh, in San Francisco and it's hot, but you still get, it still get cold, you know, over there you gotta take your jacket, you gotta put it on and off throughout the same day. Uh, this is probably the best type of jacket you can get because it's breathable, it's great for the summer, and um, it still has the D3 in there. So if you're on a bicycle or if you're running, I would recommend getting one of these because if you fall, you got the D3O on the inside, which is, uh, and you can remove it. It's washable. It's fantastic. So, again, those are some questions. If you have any more questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can in our blog. All right, guys?